Hello, everybody at SportsForumPigs.com. This is Dave, the Meat Man Scandaliato. I'm the owner of the MeatAndPotatoes.com website. I'm also the owner of PayAfterYouWin.com. And I'm sitting in the office uh, here in uh, Las Vegas. Uh, get ready for Saturday. Uh, uh, we got uh, six college bowl games. We got that uh, Kentucky Louisville College basketball game, big slab of uh, NBA games, and then we got an NFL game. So uh, it's going to be a busy Saturday, and uh, I'm in the office. I'm in a good mood right now. 2 0. Had two plays today. Got them both right, both in the NBA, and uh, let's have a toast, man. Let's have a toast. Do a 2 0 day in the NBA, and just kicking that no good bookie motherfucker's ass, man. That. You know, every time I think of that, no good motherfucking bookie, it just ruins my fucking day. The fucking bookie. You know that fucking slime ball? The bookie. Fuck you, bookie. I'll be at a miserable, miserable fucking Christmas. Fuck you, bookie. Now, like I said, everybody else... It's party time, baby. You got, you got to give the meat man credit. I mean, 2 0 in the NBA. I'm back to four games over 500. Yeah, no, I started the season 3 0. That was plus three units, and uh, now I'm uh, four games over 500. So I've improved my uh, games over 500, uh, but obviously uh, the units kind of went down because I made a few plays, but uh, still uh, plus uh, double units on a nice run in the NBA. And that's what I was hoping for to uh, start out the new year, because I want to be your NBA guy. I want to be your go-to guy when it comes to pro basketball. That's, that's what I want to do, man. That's what I want. I like NBA basketball. I like I like pro basketball. That's my sport. That's my sport, and I, I want to invite everybody at uh, the Fags Fans website to uh, check that thread I start uh, in the, uh, the NBA forum uh, with my plays, man, because uh, you never know when I'm going to put one in there. You got to check the thing two, three times a day. You know, look, it's a small price to pay to get uh, my best bets in the NBA for nothing, brother. I mean, come on. Come on, Cap. I mean, uh, the bottom line is uh, trying to, I'm trying to get the money. I, I want that money. I want that money. I want that money. Because the money, without the money, know this. No this, none of this. So you know what I'm saying? The money, we got the money, money, the money, we got the money, the money, the, the money, without the money, life sucks. It just sucks. You know what I'm talking about? When you ain't got no money, it blows. It just blows, man. Especially out here in Las Vegas. You know what it's like being broke out here in Las Vegas? I mean, I don't. <laughs> I don't know, I'm going to pick up, I'm going to cash tickets in a little while, man. I'm going to cash tickets, but I can tell you right now, this is the last fucking place. This is the last motherfucking place, Las Vegas. I, I want to be broke, man. Fuck that. Hold on, hurry, man. Don't worry. Hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, so now. We come with the big two and O day on Friday in the NBA. I got an NFL pickup already on the, uh, in the in the pro football forum in the NFL forum on uh, sportsforumpicks.com on Joe's website. So I got an NFL play up there. There's only one college basketball game tomorrow. It's a good one: Louisville Cardinals, Kentucky Wildcats. It starts at nine in the morning, Vegas time. So I don't know if I'm going to be Fucking around with that. So, uh, you know, I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I, you know, uh, I'm going to give you an NBA play. Here in a second, I'm going to give you an NBA play. And uh, it's that first game on the board. It's that first game. Well, just give me one second. Here. Hold on one second. Now, look, I, I need some advice. Anybody can help me out. It says I can take one of these every 12 hours 
as needed. I took one about 90 minutes ago. You think that? You think it's too soon to take another one? What do you think? I got plenty. I got plenty of them, man. This is the Pink Panther. Hey, look. The Pink Panther. It's called the Pink Panther. You tell the doctor that they want the Pink Panther. You tell the doctor that. And when he says you don't know what you're talking about, tell him bullshit. You tell him bullshit. You say, look, motherfucker, the meat man takes a Pink Panther every night when he's doing the video on the Fax Man's website. So, what's up, cat? That's what you tell the fucking doctor. You tell that motherfucker, give you the fucking piece of paper, and I want to go to the fucking store and get the fucking pink fucking pants. And if you can't do that, I'm going to sing the blues, sing in the blues, sing in the blues. Anybody, anybody who does knows what singing the blues is. Singing the blues. I'm singing the blues. Fuck you, bookie. I crushed your fucking ass on Christmas. How do you like that fucking Christmas present, bookie? Me just sticking it in your fucking ass with a 2-0 and an NBA. I hope I ruin your fucking goddamn day. Because I know I'm going to ruin it on Saturday. Check out that NFL pick in the in the pro football forum. Now, as far as the NBA, I'm going to go with the Brooklyn Nets. They're getting two and a half. I'm going to buy it a half and uh, knock it up to three against the Washington Wizards. And, uh, yeah, Washington's been on a little winning streak, but all home games, home games, home games, home games. This one's on the road. And uh, let me tell you something. You got teams like uh, the Washington Wizards, very good at home. Not so good on the road. The bottom line is the Brooklyn Nets, uh, they're the healthiest they've been all season. And they're playing decent basketball as of late. If you look at their record, it sucks. But look at their against the spread record. It's good. It's very good. The Brooklyn Nets play close basketball. They play tight basketball. And uh, I think we got us an easy one here on a Saturday night. There's a full slab of uh, NBA games on a Saturday. This is the first one. This is the first one. It's a 1 o'clock p.m. Pacific time start. That's out here in Las Vegas. 4 o'clock uh, out on the East Coast. We're going to take the Brooklyn Nets plus the two and a half. We're going to buy the half. We're going to take them plus three at home against the Washington Wizards, and uh, now that we're playing with the bookies' money in the NBA, now that we're playing with his money, in the beginning we kind of swap money, but now that we're playing with the bookies' money, uh, excuse me, you know what we're going to do to this bitch, you know what we're going to do to this bitch, he's our bitch, don't ever forget that, the bookie is my bitch, okay, when I was growing up, I was the bookie's bitch. I'll be the first guy to tell you, when I was a young turd burglar, back in my teens and 20s and early 30s, there's no doubt, I was the bookie's bitch. But let me tell you something, I'm 46 years old right now, and after 46 fucking years of being here on Earth, 30 of which I've been gambling, I got it figured out, Cap. I got it figured out. You need some help in the NBA? Check out this thread that I'm going to be doing now. At uh, the Fax Man's website. There's going to be no nonsense in it. Just picks. Just picks with the right spread. With an accurate record. Because I'm going to kick that motherfucker's ass. I got no respect for the bookie. I think the bookie is a fucking piece of garbage. The only fucking thing I like about the fucking bookie is he brings me money. That's the only thing I like about that motherfucker. I don't want to be friends with him. I don't want to chit chat with him. I don't want nothing to do with this bitch other than take his goddamn fucking money. Fuck you, bookie, you no good sleazy bitch. Fuck you, bitch. Fuck you, bitch. Fuck you, bookie. Fuck you.
fuck you, bitch. Bring me my fucking money that I want on Friday. 